there are a few different ways to place images in Affinity Designer. One option is to go to File and select Place. A file dialog will appear and I can locate the file that I'd like to add. I'll select it and click Open. You'll notice that the cursor has changed. If I single click, the file would be placed at its original resolution. However, if I click drag, I can decide how large or small I'd like the file to be placed. This would be useful when placing very large images to avoid having to zoom out and scale down. The move tool has automatically been selected, so I can scale the image further by click dragging the nodes. I can turn snapping on on the toolbar using semicolon to help me position the image. And if I'm using the lower center node, I'll just hold shift to constrain proportions. Now this image is not the right aspect ratio for my page, so I'll select the Vector Crop tool from the Tools panel and click drag the edge to snap to the center. This is a non-destructive crop, so if we look in the Layers panel, we can see that a mask layer has been created. At any point I can decide to hide the mask layer and the rest of my image content is still there. If I want to reposition the image with the Move tool, the mask layer will move with it to keep the mask in place. I can enable Lock Children on the Context Toolbar and now move my image layer only. Alternatively, you can use the drag and drop method. I'll delete the current image and press Command and Tab to access the Finder app. If you're using Windows, you'll Alt Tab to access File Explorer. Once I've found my file, I'll hold it with the left mouse button whilst pressing Command and Tab to go back to Designer. Then I'll release the mouse button to drop the image onto the document. I'll zoom out and scale the image down using the nodes. And again, I can hold Shift to constrain proportions. This image also needs cropping, but I'll show you an alternative way to do this. I'll hide the image for a minute by toggling the visibility off and press M to select the rectangle tool. I'll deselect the image layer and click drag to create a rectangle and use snapping to find the center of the page. Now I'll show the image again and drag the image layer over the rectangle layer. You'll see the image has been clipped within the rectangle. Again, this is non-destructive as I can move the image to reveal the original content. I can also drag it back out of the rectangle to view the full image. Another quick way I like to integrate images into print spreads is with the Transparency tool. I'll select the Transparency tool from the Tools panel and drag a line from the subject of the image to the text for a softer edge. One last thing to mention is that you can place other Affinity documents. I'll delete these layers for our final example. I'll Command Tab back out to Finder and select this Affinity Photo file. Now I'll drag and drop it back onto my workspace and scale it down and transform it until it fits the space. Now if we look at the image in the Layers panel, it is described as an embedded document. This means I can click Edit Document on the Context Toolbar to enter the document and edit it further. This opens the document in a new tab and the Layers panel will show all the edits that were made in Photo. I might want to just turn off the sun glare for this example, so I'll toggle the layer visibility off and close the tab. As you can see, the changes are reflected in the embedded document. We can go back into the document by double-clicking on it or its thumbnail and make additional changes. Again, I'll close the tab and the changes have been updated. So that was a look at the different methods for placing and scaling images onto a document. Thanks for watching.